Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to check it out. Why do we have to pray in Arabic? This is a question I actually asked my channel before, and some people explained it for me. They were like, you're supposed to pray in Arabic because God asked you to pray in Arabic, and I, I don't, I wouldn't say God asked you to pray in Arabic, but it was written in Arabic, and there's no right translation for it in English. Because that's what my Muslim friend told me. And I I still I won't say I'm against it but you can actually translate it. But it's beautiful. You knowing what you are saying in Arabic and you knowing it by heart and knowing the meaning and translation by heart is actually a beautiful thing. So guys we're gonna check this out. Let's get straight. One revert asks me, why do I have to pray in Arabic? I said no. Prayer in English translates as a supplication, which is a dua. You can do that in any language you want, or you can even do it silently. Allah knows your supplication before you even utter it. But if you're talking of a certain set of actions and words known as salah, and you're translating it as prayer because there's no better word in the English language to bring it closer to your understanding, then that is an act of worship to Allah that will happen in Arabic because Allah wants you O oh man to adjust yourself to understand the word of Allah and not to adjust the word of Allah for you O oh man to understand guys okay, he said the word of Allah I won't say God's language is Arabic God is universal and I won't say he has a language <laughs> He spoke to different prophets in different languages, so I won't say God's language is Arabic or English or Chinese or French. Like God is mighty enough to understand everyone, and I feel He reads our hearts. So let's continue. So everyone who's a Muslim, you have to have invested in learning the Quran as is because your salah would not be valid unless you did that no matter how hard it is you can have reverted today by the evening they'll tell you at least memorize one chapter of the Quran you say one chapter you say yes one surah surah al-fatiha will take you 20 minutes to memorize if you are dedicated max and it will take you a minute to recite Surat Al-Falaq, Surat Al-Nas, Surat, for example, Al-Ikhlas, Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad, etc. These are short surahs. You are going to have to know some of the Quran off by heart. I ask you a question. Show me by raising your hands. How many of you memorize Surah Fatiha off by heart? Put up your hand. Please. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. All of us. No exception. I just wanted to prove a point. That means you've memorized the Arabic. Now if I ask you, how many of you speak the Arabic language? Put up your hands, please. You see, very few, very few. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. Isn't that a miracle? A favor of Allah. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِن مُدَّكِرٍ Allah says, we have made this Quran simplified. Not only to memorize, but to understand, to look into, to ponder over, to fulfill, to follow, to practice, all of it. Who is going to do it from amongst you? Wow, guys, this is over. I was telling him to say something now. But guys, I need your help. Like, I need it. Like, give me a update or something. Like, I'm jealous. Like, but back to this. He actually, I love when he, he talks about the Quran and Muslim is someone I respect a lot. And I feel he is intelligent. I think I've checked this out, but let's just go with it. I think he's very, very intelligent. And me checking out the first, I, I didn't pick note of when he said God's language is Arabic. But I, I feel he's just trying to give an instance because sometimes when you're trying to explain something from to people, you kind of switch. Like, I don't know, you kind of make, I won't say mystic, but... A mistake, but not purposely. Like it's, I don't know how to put it, but like it's not purpose. Like you just do it by mistake. So I felt he said that by mistake, and 
It's not something we're supposed to hold against them. Because as I keep on saying, no one is perfect. Like, we are humans, we are imperfect. That's what makes us unique. Like, that would make us unique. And I actually enjoy this. But still on it, guys. I haven't seen a valid reason why we should pray in Arabic. I haven't seen a valid reason. So please, explain to me. Because it's strange. I don't know how to put it, but... I feel it's strange. Like, explain to me, because the Quran has been translated. Like, we know that the original book is this. So if there's a mistake, if... 20 scholars come together to translate it. You can tell me that they won't get an the precise English version. I, I'm, I'm not just saying English. Even if I speak English. You can translate it in French, in different languages. Because I feel the Bible is translated in diff like I, I I can use the word all languages. Like this is what I know. Like Bible is translated in I would say of oh, most of the languages, like most, like even my local dialect, the Bible is translated in that to help older women understand the Bible and where it's coming from. I feel the Quran should be translated like that with the original form. Like, so if you learning it or you make a mistake in translation, you can always revert back to the original form because I feel with that way, you'll be able to preach the gospel we're able to preach God to a lot of people because me seeing it guys you practicing Islam you practicing Christianity like I won't say the same thing but it's close to same and the like to be honest let's leave the religion like the two religion here we believe in God both of us and we believe that people are supposed to get this feeling we are feeling we are supposed to understand that there is a creator and we have another place after we die. And this is something that we are supposed to be able to preach to the world. Like, the world needs to know it. I know Christians are doing their part, but I believe Islam can still do its part. Because I feel Islam is one of the fastest growing religion. And I feel if the Quran is actually translated in many books, it will be able for people to be able to preach to a lot of people with different ethnic group and it's going to be able to go out today but what do i know i'm just a youtuber guys make sure to like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys first